hope it's the future of open and remote computing. So um, I'm going to start with a short demo. Um, uh, then I'll talk about what Spice says. Uh, architecture actually moved. Um, so I'll go over it briefly without any, any uh, uh, diagrams. With it, uh, if anybody, if there's a, an interest in that, I'll, I'll go over that at the end. Uh, I'll cover some of the advantages, uh, why Spice turned into an advantages side. And then I'll uh, go over what's new from uh, the last year, where, since uh, Gerd uh, introduced uh, Spice uh, after it uh, finally got upstreamed. And uh, then I'll basically go over what was the uh, par part of the title of this talk about uh, our short term, mid term, and long term. And this is all um, basically uh, what, what's being developed uh, upstream in the spy space. It's not uh, definite, uh, uh, it's, it's not any sort of, of bindable obligation that you'll find it in RHEL at any point. Um, so the demo part, um, basically this uh, is currently running in a Spice uh, a client. Um, it's in windowed mode, it can also go into a full screen mode and uh, uh, the resolution is changed uh, on the fly um, through a in, a in guest agent. Um, so Spice itself is, is a power virtual device, I'll talk about that later. So but basically it's just uh, exporting a, a video, a mouse, keyboard. And audio, I won't show that, but it does. Um, this is Spice running in a uh, uh, running a, a Windows 7 VM. Previously, that was a, a, a Fedora 15 uh, VM. Um, um, next, I want to show you the uh, copy paste feature. So, I'll take a screenshot and uh, copy it to the clipboard and go over here to my other VM. So, actually, it's already been copied to. Uh, uh, to the host, and now uh, it's been copied uh, to another guest from the host, so you actually saw both directions. Um, and last thing I want to show you uh, is uh, a full screen video. Uh, so, uh, like I said, we also do audio and we do audio and video synchronization. Uh, so, if I was to connect this to, a, uh, uh, to the audio, you'd, you'd also see. Uh, uh, you'd, you'd also hear the audio. Um, so that's about it. There are uh, quite a number of features I'm not going to show you. Uh, we support multiple uh, uh, displays um, and uh, a number of additional channels, which I will mention in a second. So uh, that, that was a short uh, uh, demo of Spice. Uh, so Spice is an uh, open remote computing uh, virtual desktop interface uh, protocol. It's uh, uh, under uh, a license under the LGPL. Uh, it uses a uh, power virtual graphics device uh, called QXL after Kumonet, which originally developed it. Um, and uh, it has a host component uh, which uh, uh, can, can do rendering, but mostly the idea is to pass uh, through the commands from the uh, 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 specific uh, ingest driver to the, uh, the, uh, directly to the client to be rendered on the client side. Uh, it's an integrated uh, solution. It has uh, uh, separate uh, channels uh, in uh, SpiceFake. Actually, it's, uh, each is an independent, independent uh, socket, so you can get uh, prioritizing uh, different uh, prioritizing between them. Uh, so there's one for the display. There's another for the cursor, uh, which you saw is actually like a mini display uh, channel. Uh, there's another for uh, uh, sound, actually uh, two, a playback and a record. Uh, the inputs is called because it includes the keyboard and the mouse uh, data, mostly uh, from the client to the guest, but also LEDs. There's a, a, a smart card channel and there's USB redirection, uh, currently using a, a third party solution, but we're working on replacing that uh, pretty soon with a, a completely open source one. And of course, you can add future extensions to that. Uh, so the main, uh, um, the main point of, of Spice uh, has been originally and still is to uh, remote uh, virtual machines and uh, to do that efficiently and with uh, minimizing uh, CPU usage. So uh, the first point is uh, instead of doing any screen, screen scraping, use a, uh, a, a power virtual device and you can uh, basically, uh, initially it was uh, meant for uh, uh, Windows guests mainly, so the uh, um, obvious choice was using a GDI. Uh, a protocol or VDI based protocol. Um, we use uh, similarly to Virtio a number of rings between uh, a, a command ring and a separate cursor ring uh, and uh, a release ring. So uh, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, on, on QMU, uh, a spy server has a separate uh, rendering thread and that's consuming stuff from the ring. And 
in, in the guest uh, and the uh, device driver is feeding that and there's no need for a guest exit, hope, usually. Um, Client-side rendering, I've mentioned before, and multiple sockets. Uh, we have uh, this thing called the uh, display tree. So the idea is that uh, if you have the outstanding uh, pipe of operations to the client because you have a certain limited uh, bandwidth uh, and you just read a new, a new uh, operation from, from the guest, uh, uh, then you uh, check and see if you have anything in the, dis in the outgoing pipe that's already uh, that's being uh, uh, totally obscured by the new uh, rendering operation and you drop it and never send it to the guest, so you save some bandwidth. And uh, like I showed you, we, uh, audio and video is a special case, so there's uh, messages for uh, synchronizing between them and uh, synchronizing the time between them. And uh, we actually have this feature where we, we, we don't have video pass-through. I'll, I'll speak about that, something that we want to do, but we uh, uh, recognize uh, a, a, uh, after 20 updates to the same area in the screen, uh, we decide to call that a stream and we uh, uh, and encode it uh, with motion JPEG and not with our standard set of encodings, which I, I fail, failed to mention so far, but we have a number of, uh, of encodings that we use uh, uh, also to re reduce bandwidth. Um, so that's, that's uh, about, that's the first part. And uh, so, so copy paste to show you, ba basically we're, we're trying to be an integrated uh, solution. Uh, so you have sound, you have USB uh, uh, remoting, you can plug in a device in the client, see it in the guest. A smart card recently, um, and we, we, the, the QXL device is also a VGA device, so if you don't have any driver in the, in the uh, guest or it hasn't uh, been loaded yet and you're still in BIOS, you still get uh, 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 the VGA output. And of course, it's, uh, it's an open source uh, remote uh, computing solution. Uh, the uh, changes, uh, like I said, from uh, KVM Forum 2010 is uh, the addition of uh, copy-paste, uh, text and, and images. Uh, Linux support has been uh, greatly improved. We have a new uh, uh, client, uh, actually it's a client library, uh, GTK based. So, uh, uh, I was just wondering, um, what are the advantages over RDP or extending the VNC protocol? Uh, VN VNC, the VNC protocol is, is mainly uh, uh, bitmap orient oriented. Uh, so it's, uh, I'd say extending the, the VNC protocol would have been basically making a new protocol. Uh, regarding RDP, I can't say that. Um, I, I'm honestly not sure if it wouldn't have been possible to reuse RDP, but uh, so, yeah. But RDP is not well licensed for yeah. open source projects, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking more about extending VNC, because it seems mm -hmm. like a lot of this could be added to that protocol. But, but I, I look specifically at the VNC, okay. Um, so, so, so like I said, uh, uh, one of the things uh, new from last year is, is a GTK-based uh, 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 client. It's uh, been integrated into Virt Manager. Actually, I forgot to show you. Uh, so maybe I'll go back to the demo for a second. Uh, so in Virt Manager, you can uh, uh, basically uh, 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 change the display to uh, uh, Spice and it will be very helpful and suggest that you also want the Spice uh, channel, uh, Spice agent channel, which actually uses Virtero Serial. And uh, of course, uh, you, could, you also want the uh, QXL uh, uh, video device. Uh, so uh, if I were to run this uh, machine, which I haven't actually tried, but hopefully it works, then, well, you won't see anything because it's a test machine. And like I said, this is the BIOS, but so it's not really interesting. But uh, it's, it's supposedly running with the Spice GTK widget and not with the VNC widget. But you wouldn't know unless you actually looked into properties. So, so, so it has more than uh, 9 megabytes of uh, it, space, right? It, it actually uses uh, 128 right now, divided into two, two uh, bars. Uh, one, one includes the, the frame buffer and uh, the command area, and, uh, uh, and, and then some initialization uh, like uh, configuration space. And the other one includes uh, uh, off-screen surfaces, uh, which uh, we support. Um, it seems to have caught my keyboard, OK. Does it also support cameras? Uh, yes, but not, I mean, uh, not, sorry, sorry, no, but uh, with the new USB uh, uh, support, it should, uh, uh, it, 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 it will. The, um, unfortunately, Hans uh, registered to the wrong, he's talked to the wrong uh, conference. So if you go to LinuxCon, uh, I, I don't know, Friday, I, I don't know exactly when, Hans, well, when is your talk? Friday, Friday you, you'll, you'll hear talk about Hans about the uh, new uh, USB. Uh, 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 remoting that's uh, part of QMU and uh, uh, now also part of uh, um, 
the Spice GTK client, and, and that, that can do, uh, I'm, I'm looking generally in that direction, I don't remember who asked this, but that, that can do uh, uh, web care, uh, is a Cronus uh, USB 2. Um, so the AX driver has been improved. I'm not going to talk about it a lot because I'm not actually familiar with that, uh, the, the improvements that much. And uh, uh, the, the, the Vert Manager integration I just kind of showed you. You have to trust me, it was Spice. And the Vert Viewer as well using the same uh, GTK uh, widget. And there's a new uh, agent for Linux. Previously, we only had agent support for uh, Windows. So we now have one for Linux too. Uh, and the Smart Card Channel, which I'm not going to demonstrate, but basically it's a remoting of smart cards from the uh, and clients has also been uh, introduced. Uh, so th th the rest of my talk, unless, like I mentioned before, will go if somebody wants to, to, to look at the way the, a little bit more detailed in, in, into the architecture then, is, is, is basically a, a, a selection of, of a few features from our, our uh, uh, planned feature phase uh, in order of uh, close to being in, uh, included and we're thinking about it. So. Uh, like I just uh, talked about, and thanks for the guy asking about the uh, webcam, uh, USB uh, is, uh, our current solution uh, is a, a proprietary one, and, and uh, we're, we're uh, close to, to replacing it with a solution that's not only open source, but also supports USB 2, uh, thanks to the new, new USB 2 in QMU, and uh, um, that's, that's uh, uh, one thing. The other thing is we have, uh, um, uh, we're, we have pretty advanced work, but not, not yet uh, on, on in upstream uh, for uh, uh, multiple client support. So that's one thing, for instance, VNC does and we don't right now. If you connect the second Spice client, it disconnects the first one. So the idea is, of course, to have the uh, option of having multiple clients. Um, there's, there's been, uh, in the recent Desktop Summit, uh, Mark and Dre showed a little bit about uh, desktop integration. So the idea was uh, that uh, if you have uh, uh, I actually did it specifically for GNOME Shell, so if you have uh, your, so, okay, this is, uh, sorry, this is still in the VM. Uh, so uh, this, um, if you have uh, the, imagine I have a number of users, so I could switch to them here, so you could also switch to different VMs uh, that way. That's, that takes care of the full screen VM. I want to, 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 to think I'm working in the client, and the other direction is, is remoting a specific application uh, 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 from, from the guest, so you're, you're, you see a window, you, you're actually interacting with the guest. Uh, and testing, um, our current testing infrastructure, we don't have one, so uh, the idea would be to uh, use uh, auto-test. Uh, that's kind of in the beginning, but actually that's not a lot of work, so that's uh, something else uh, planning, planning on doing. A performance, uh, well, we, we have a lot to improve there, so just a couple of things. Uh, if you look at VNC, VNC does polling. Uh, we don't do that, so if the guest has a burst of activity, we send all everything up to the uh, bandwidth limit, and uh, it would be nice to not do that when you don't need to for a start of amplification. Uh, uh, compression, so recently we've started actually looking in the uh, perf and doesn't look like we're doing that well, so it could be improved. Uh, surfaces, I, I, so we have since, I don't know, about two years or one year and a half, uh, support for off-screen surfaces. Uh, it was introduced for the X driver and uh, also, well, actually for, for Windows 7, but it's, it's also widely used for, for the X driver. And we're not currently using, the, the, the dependencies between surfaces are not very well. A uh, Mac client, there, there's work on a Mac client based on the GTK. We currently only have clients for you, you do use uh, services for Windows, just not for X. No, we use them for both. The, the new, what, what I talked about, the uh, improved X dri uh, driver is, is a driver that uses services. But the thing is that we were trying to avoid rendering on the server. And the current implementation does way too much rendering on the server because whenever you have an operation that depends on another surface, the whole surface gets rendered uh, instead of just the area that we actually depend on. Uh, um, Long term, uh, so that's slight, um, agent consolidation. Uh, well, uh, there's uh, we, we have our own agent right now. Rev has its own agent. Uh, there's uh, work on uh, there's Vert agent and there's Matahari. We, we, we need to look into trying to uh, uh, learn to, to work with, with one of them. Our, our agent is actually a two part. So we have a, a, a per session in, in Windows and, and in Linux and a, and, a, and a system service. Maybe we, we need only to, only to replace the. The, uh, only to reuse Matahari over agent for the uh, system and leave uh, something we need to work on. 
um, client. So there's work on, uh, there's actually somebody released the Android client uh, on the mailing list. I haven't tested it yet. Uh, personally, we don't have an iOS client uh, yet. Uh, 3D, so th that's a, a big issue, of course, with the other thing that's actually much bigger and, and mu much fuzzier right now. But uh, well, obviously, um, uh, 3D is becoming much more dominant uh, API. We don't uh, support it, not at the protocol level, not in the drivers, uh, not for Windows, not for Linux. Uh, there's a couple of, of APIs for that, and uh, we need to uh, basically, uh, we're, we're looking into, into doing that. Um, there's the Bears of Feather uh, later if anybody wants to talk about this. I know it's, 3D is also interesting for embedded uh, work. For, so I guess there's probably some way of, of letting somebody else do part of the work for me. And uh, video acceleration is uh, another thing. Like I said, we, we do have uh, uh, some support for video. And you saw it working well on, on a guest, uh, on my, uh, the host and, and, and my uh, uh, client are on the same machine, of course. Uh, but uh, um, what would be much nicer is to use uh, VDPOW or uh, uh, VAPI uh, or uh, uh, DirectDraw and to actually uh, get, uh, uh, get, get the, the codec, uh, uh, get the stream before it's being decoded. And uh, of course, you save a, a decode and an, a re encoding, which actually the re encoding is, is the more, more problematic one. And, and you let the, the client uh, do it. There's some problems, of course, with. Some clients not supporting some codecs, so it can't always work, but that's the direction we want to do. One fast path for implementation of this is actually to go to the uh, user level and use GStreamer. If anybody is familiar with that, it's a, a, a framework for, uh, for doing, uh, it's basically a, a, a graph, a, a flow, uh, you, you collect, you define various components and you connect them and you can get video players or uh, audio players and just by implementing a single uh, video sync, we could get all of them to work, but of course it wouldn't do Flash, it wouldn't do any, any application that doesn't already use GStreamer. Um, yeah, that's like, uh, well, f um, actually talking about in different uh, order than what they've written. Uh, Flash is something that uh, um, most of our competitors do right now. We don't special case that at all. So we do support YouTube and everything like that simply because it's running, it's being rendered in the, in the uh, guest. Um, it would be uh, uh, terribly nice to, to pass it uh, through. Um, uh, Virtuio, so our, our device is a PCI device, it's, uh, so it's already PC specific and it's uh, uh, a lot of the improvements uh, going on in Virtuio lens are probably also relevant to us, so why not try to reuse that? Um, but that's the, 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 the extent of thought that's gone into that at, at the moment. And same goes for Glib. It's uh, like we have uh, also the in-house groans, not invented here syndrome. So that's another thing that we're uh, thinking about, or maybe just me. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for my talk. Uh, I have a few slides. Uh, the architecture, one of them looks like it's missing in action. So I have only one slide of the architecture. And uh, other than that, thanks for listening. Any questions?